All right, guys, so this is video number two for today. This is going to be my second uh, rifle edition that I picked up in the last couple days. Uh, if you haven't watched the first video, please watch that one, and uh, I thank you for watching this one. Uh, what I have here is um, the British Enfield, and most of you have been following me for a while know I love Enfields. You know, uh, I've got seven. This makes number eight, and uh, over the last about five or six years, I've owned a total of 13 Enfields. Like I said, this is number eight that I still have. Um, I got this for a really good deal, and um, you know... Uh, like I mentioned in my first video, I love the 30 out 6 caliber, but you know the infields are the 303, which that's I love that caliber also. It's a great uh, caliber. Um, I'm really excited to tell you uh, about this rifle, and um, a lot of history here as well. And so I'm not gonna stall anymore. I'm just gonna go ahead and bring you in and uh, let you know what kind of a score I got. So here we go. All right, guys, so here it is, my number four Mark I uh, British Enfield, uh, marked ROF, which is Royal Ordnance Factory, and then for Zachary. And uh, I'll go ahead and show you here. It dates to June 1943. Uh, now, you can probably tell that, you know, unfortunately somebody has, you know, I don't know if they want it to look older or give it a certain characteristic look, whatever, they kind of scrubbed the bluing, you know, the metal part some, and they actually sanded the stock just a little bit, but it was done a long time ago. Still got grooves and stuff in there, but um, overall, you know, I'm, I'm pleased with the appearance of this rifle. Um, it does have a splice here where it had to be repaired, which, you know, that was a common thing, but um, great rifle. Um, trying to open, get some lighting, better lighting in here, but great rifle and what's cool is the magazine matches and this appears to be an all matching rifle it's unfortunately somebody you know they did what they did to it but um you know it shoots the 303 caliber you know i love that caliber it's a great great round um it does have you know the 10 round magazine which was a plus during world war one world war two as far as bolt action um it is import marked i'll show you here where is that uh, right under here Knoxville, Tennessee, 303 British, but um, like I said, this makes number eight in my collection. Like I said, I've owned 13 over the past five or six years. I just love infills. I like the way they look, like the way they feel, they shoot and everything. Um, and, uh, you know, I'll have to get a sling for this one and everything. But, uh, you know, the, the bore on it's really good shape. I mean, it does need to be clean, which I'm going to do that. I always clean my rifles and everything. I'm big on, you know, maintenance and everything. Uh, it's got plenty of rifling left. I can't wait to shoot this. Like I said, hopefully uh, my buddy will be well enough in the next couple weeks or so after his back surgery. Uh, he had back surgery, you know, about five weeks ago now. So hopefully in two to three weeks he'll be good to go to get out there again. Um, but he's doing well already. But just to, I mean, if you don't have an infield in your class, you've got to get one. I mean, it's a must. It's like in the top ten, you know, rifles, you know, surplus rifles you have to have. I mean, you just do... Um, and I'll go ahead and tell you, this right here, I paid $150 for it. And, you know, I see nowadays, I mean, there's companies online and stuff wanting four and $500 for an infield. I actually talked to a man yesterday. He had an infield for sale. He actually had two of them, and he wanted $475. And, I mean, you know, in a nice way, I was like, you know, I appreciate, you know, whatever, but I'm a pass, but... Four hundred and seventy-five dollars. That is just unreal, you know. I mean, it's the hundred and fifty-dollar days are pretty much over. I mean, like I got a deal today. Hundred and fifty bucks is awesome, even though it's been, you know, kind of sanded, whatever, uh, redone some. Um, but I mean, this right here is still a two hundred and fifty to three hundred dollar rifle, you know. But you know, I, I mean, I could see infields, you know, maybe in the three hundred dollar range to three fifty. But really, anything over three fifty. I mean, unless it's a rare, you know, model or something. I mean, I I wouldn't pay over three fifty, but that's just me. I think four or five hundred dollars is just ridiculous. But you know, it all depends on your area, you know. Um, but I was grateful I was able to get this, you know. Um, and you might have noticed the box here on the table. Check this out. Same man today, which I you know I know him. I've, I've known him for about three years now. 
There is 450 rounds of South African 1980 dated surplus ammo. 450 rounds. And just look at it. It's just awesome. I've only opened a few boxes, but look, there's like, there's no corrosion or anything. I mean, they're just in great shape for being 38 years old. You know, I can't wait to shoot these. You know, I've shot uh, quite a bit of South African before. Um, I mean, this is just awesome. 450 rounds, right? And so, I'll go ahead and tell you, for this box of ammo, all this right here, 450 rounds, I paid $180 for it. $180 for 450 rounds. That's basically about 40 cents a round. Realistically, 40, 450 rounds of ammo, this right here is, is really probably, I would say, 250 to $300 worth of ammo. You know, I mean, it might be 300 325 You know, I'm not really up on the ammo prices that much right now. I haven't really had time to keep up with it with moving and everything. But, I mean, realistically, I mean, this is probably at least 250 to 300 dollars worth of ammo i mean like i said maybe 325 ish but it's just awesome i'm always looking for surplus ammo you know the, the 303 30 6 all those different calibers and so for the rifle and 450 rounds of ammo i paid uh, a grand total of it was a uh, 330 dollars 150 for the rifle 180 for the ammo 330 dollars you know, I mean, that's basically, like I said, the price of, of of a rifle by itself, you know, give or take a little bit. But, I mean, that was a great deal. You know, the guy was, you know, really good to me. You know, we've become really good friends over the years. He's got a lot more rifles and, and guns for sale that he's going to be selling, a lot more ammo and stuff. That's why, you know, I say, you know, get out there, build relationships, make friends, meet people. You know, there's a lot of good people out there in the world, you know, make you some contacts, let people know what you're looking for, get your name out there. You know, I've been doing this for many years. A lot of people, you know, antique stores, flea markets, gun shows, gun stores, uh, a lot of these people know know me by name. I'm, and it is a lot. It really is a lot of people that know me. Uh, some people say they, you know, if they forgot my name for some reason, they know why I'm there. When I come in their store, that's the guy that collects military stuff. You know, I mean, they just know me. You know, and it helps to have contacts to meet people and everything, you know. But anyways, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Feels good getting back in the routine of making videos, and there's going to be more on the way. So thank you for your support, and I'll be getting back to you.